Pow pow. Oh, I'm gonna steal his kill. Nope, I missed. One more shot, one more shot. Where's he at? I got him! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death from Above. Today, we're gonna do a God Roll God. Coming back to a couple guns that uh, I didn't take care of when they first came out, but I've decided to return. So we're gonna talk about the Trophy Hunter today in the God Roll Guide. I'm gonna talk about all the rolls you can get on the, which one is mine and which ones I'm going for. And right now is a really good time to be farming up these guns because you literally buy the bounty if you've gotten all of your uh, obelisks leveled up. You can buy the bounty from the Tower Obelisk and then you can go to the Tower Obelisk, give it some, uh, some fractal line and it will level up your bounties and complete them. And you can just keep going on and on and on until you are through with your fractal line bounty. So it's a really good time to be getting guns like this. And uh, I think at the end of the season they're going to be gone. So uh, get it while it's hot. You got about a month, I think, or thereabouts. So let's talk about the trophy hunter and the perks and the rolls and the stats and all the fun things. So this is the trophy hunter. Impact of 90, range of 80, stability 30, handling 31, reload speed 41. Uh, RPM 72, mag size is 3, it's a small mag sniper, so it hits pretty hard. Uh, aim assist is 46, that's pretty low for a sniper. Inventory size is 39, I don't know how that much matters when you have a magazine of 3 right here. Uh, zoom 50, recoil 80, bounce intensity 20, and bounce tense, bounce direction, it tends right. So it does bounce a little bit as far as a sniper goes, but it hits a little bit hard. That's an interesting gun, the scope's a little bit cumbersome as far as how I feel, but I have not gotten one with uh, the perks that I want. So maybe, uh, maybe it'll feel a little bit snappier later on. So those are the stats. Uh, there is a curated roll with Arrowhead Break, Accurized Rounds, Genesis, and Dragonfly. I think that's what Light.gg says. Can't tell if that's true or not, but uh, interesting roll. Don't know that I'm crazy about it. I think I actually got this one already. Maybe that's the one that comes from the season pass. I thought it was randomly rolled, though. So I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong here. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, let's take a look at the rolls that you can get. And uh, this will show you uh, different shading, different colors will show you what the community on Light.gg has said about this specific perk. Not the perk on this gun, but just the perk in general. So yellow means they've said it's good everywhere. Red means it's good in PvP. Purple means it's good in PvE. We'll go down the barrels, the mags, and the two perk trees. I don't see snapshot. Oh, there's snapshot right there. Good. Okay, so arrowhead break. Uh, will give you increased handling and increases the recoil, or I guess decreases the recoil. Uh, solid choice for pulse rifles. I don't know about sniper rifles. Corkscrew gives you range, handling, and stability. Fluted barrel gives you stability and handling. Uh, polygonal rifling gives you some stability. Smog board gives you some range and some stability. Then you have chamber compensator. These perks down here are probably negatively uh, reviewed because they all have negative status effects, except for the last one. Chamber compensator gives you stability and recoil, but you lose handling. Extended barrel will give you range recoil, but you'll lose handling. Full bore will give you range, and you'll lose stability and handling. And then hammer forge rifling will give you just some range. I uh, can't really disagree with the community on this one. I would say arrowhead, break, corkscrew, or fluted. Probably with this sniper rifle, since it feels a little bit slow, the handling is probably where I'd put as much as I could. Uh, arrowhead break would be nice, though, keeping that re recoil nice and vertical and giving you a little bit of handling, too. So I'd probably go arrowhead break. Uh, mm, corkscrew maybe polygonal for PvP small bore for PvP I don't know that I think those are as good I would go with one of these three and probably I'd probably lean towards arrowhead break honestly because it's going to give you the most bang for your buck on this gun uh, as far as what I think I need if you disagree with me on the god roll that I choose you can just you know hit that subscribe button it'll it'll make sure all the uh, all the videos from now on are exactly how you want them to be and it'll you know does the thing anyway uh mags appended mag gives you mag size tactical mag gives you stability mag size and reload speed extended mag will give you a big old magazine but you lose reload speed accurized rounds give you range <clears throat> decent range does a lot more than just range in uh, guns and destiny then you have steady rounds which you lose range but you gain stability alloy magazine faster reload with a magazine empty. that's not actually in theory, that might not actually be too bad because it's a three-round mag sniper. You're going to go through that, that mag pretty quick. And then we have flared mag while stability and reload speed. Appended mag and tactical mag. A lot of times I have to look at these and see if I agree with the community. I don't know that I do on this gun. I honestly think alloy mag could be fun to play around with. Uh, appended mag would be cool, though. You get up 
probably four rounds in it. Tactical Mag probably give you four rounds as well, but you get stability and reload. So maybe Tactical Mag for me, for you, dog, uh, as an all-around perk. So, so far, we got Arrowhead Break Tactical Mag to be my perfect weapon from this. Uh, Lead from Gold is the first of the perks that you can get. Uh, picking up heavy ammo also grants ammo to this weapon. Not a bad choice, because uh, you'll be getting green bricks, and you'll be getting purple bricks that will give you green ammo. Snipers, you can't really ask for more. I wouldn't go with Triple Tap, because you're going to have to land all three shots. Maybe, and you're just going to get one more shot. So maybe if you have extended mag, Triple Tap would be good. I don't like Triple Tap on sniper rifles, but hey, I'm bad at sniping. Maybe if you're a good sniper, Triple Tap is a good perk, because you always hit those headshots. Pulse Monitor, Auto Reload is part of the magazine if you're critically wounded. Maybe. Maybe. And then Genesis, Breaking a Combatant Shield, fills the ammo from reserves. Energy Weapons regenerate ammo when matching damage type to the Combatant Shield. So if you're shooting this against a Void Shielded Enemy, you'll get some ammo, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to go with Lead from Gold. That sounds fun. Second column, we got Vorpal Weapon. Increased damage against bosses, vehicles, and guardians with their super active. That'd be fun. Send me your clips on Twitter of you killing... Super Guardians with Vorpal Weapon. I would love to see it. I don't care if it's this gun or any gun. Just send it to me on Twitter. Uh, Dragonfly. Precision kills grants an elemental damage explosion. Nah. Okay. Disruption break. Breaking enemy shield makes them vulnerable to kinetic damage. No, I don't like that one. And then Snapshot. I'm a big fan of Snapshot, especially this one. This one feels really slow and clunky. So Snapshot, I would be excited to get a Snapshot. Lead from gold. Tactical mag. Arrowhead break version. And you can you can farm this very effectively right now. Once this season's over, this hey baby is gone. It's like dropping your keys in lava. But uh, until then, farm it up like crazy. Use that fractal line at the obelisk. If you don't have any fractal line, just get the bounty and do what it says. Uh, as far as my weapon goes, the one you're seeing right here, I have almost a good roll. I've got chambered compensator. Accurized rounds, lead from gold, and dragonfly. I would like to have snapshot right here. I'd like to have tactical mag right here and hero, arrowhead break right here. But I'm okay with chambered compensator, kind of. Not really. I don't really like it. Um, uh, accurized rounds are okay. Uh, if this was snapshot and accurized, it'd be pretty decent. But uh, the one you're seeing has that with a stability masterwork. Pretty high up on the stability scale, though. So, what are you guys getting? What's your drop? Let me know in the comments which one you have gotten. What do you want me to take a look at next? I got a couple guns in the works that I'm planning to do videos on. And hey, go check out that Twitch stream linked in the description. I've been there every day this week. Every day. Which, three times? It's been pretty good. By the time you're seeing this, it'll be, I've been a fourth time. You should go follow that channel and turn on notifications. But, until then, until next time, I'm Death Rebel, and I'll see you later. See you, bye!